The annual solar eclipse. This will be the last ring of fire visible in the United States until 2039. So it's about 16 years. Many people are already in areas where you'll be able to see the full eclipse. That includes parts of southern and central Oregon. King 5 has a crew on the ground there right now. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti joining us live. Leah, it looks like you've made some new friends, and I have to think we have the annual annular eclipse where you know the sun's going to be blocked out, but you may have someone blocking you in a minute with their excitement. Yes, yes. Farah, look, I just I like visual representations. We are going to show you what's happening this morning with my new friends. This is Bo. He is in orbit around me right now, so I am Earth. Bo is the moon. He's in orbit, clearly. By the way, oh, pfft, oh no, we lost our moon. Good job, Bo. So if you remember, I just introduced you to Cindy about half an hour ago. She's a local woman. She told you she was going to be coming down here to meet up with her nephews. Well, I found her nephews. So they're going to help me demonstrate to you what is happening with this eclipse today. So Yay. basically, we have Earth. We have our moon in orbit. And Bo, stop. Right there. When the, when the moon is between the sun and earth, we get this eclipse. Okay, so now we're gonna take a closer look. Everybody, we have our balls. Okay, so Bo, you are now holding up planet Earth. Hold this up, okay. And this is Miles, his older brother. Miles is holding the sun. We're gonna use our imagination here, everybody. This is the moon. So when the moon stops between earth and the sun, depending on how close or far it is from the sun, that's how much of an eclipse we'll get. So when we get a total eclipse, the moon is closer to earth. So it blocks more of the sun. When it's a little bit farther, which is what we're seeing today, it's not a total eclipse, it's an annular eclipse. So we get a ring of fire. There's still gonna be a little bit of that sun that you can see around it. So that's what we're expecting here. Good job, boys, high five. High five. Hi, oh, there we go. Dog, dog toy high five. There we go. Okay, so we are in Oregon right now. We are in the path of the area that is going to get the best view of this annular eclipse. In Washington, you'll get about 81%. Come on, boys. Miles, I'm not done with you yet. Come on back. So no matter where you are, whether you're in Washington, whether you are down here in Oregon and you are under the path of that full annular eclipse just after nine o'clock today, you need to make sure you've got your glasses on. Boys, let's show them the glasses. You got them? I, I'll help you, Bo, that's okay. So we're gonna put our glasses on and this is going to block the sun. This makes it safe to view. Look at the camera. Oh, nice, Bo, that looks great. So because we're wearing these glasses, it makes it safe to view the sun. You do not want to look at the sun if you're not wearing these glasses. So a good thing to keep in mind for everybody if you are going to be watching the eclipse today. But uh, clearly we're having fun out here, Farah. And uh, we're going to keep, we're just going to stay out here. We're going to bring you the best view of the eclipse live, Farah. Well, Leah, I have to say that might be one of my most favorite explanations of the eclipse and the earth. I didn't, I didn't know the earth was so energetic. Go Bo. I know, the earth yeah. is very, the earth actually just took off, so. Bye, that, that's Bo. next week's lesson, is how the oh, earth just back. started back. a new path. <laughs> yes, exactly. Bo and Miles are reinventing the planet as we speak. Thank I love you both it. so much for your help. And by the way, I said this just a moment ago, but these two are the nephews of Cindy, who is a local woman. We caught up with her, she lives in the Bonnie Lake area. Awesome. And we had that story for you. Uh, yeah, and, and Cindy is avid, avid astronomer, and she's setting up her telescope, so we're going to go take a peek at what she's doing over there next, but uh, it's actually looking like it's going to be good eclipse viewing out here. The sun is starting to peek through the clouds, which is everybody's concern down here, so I'm sorry, Farah. I think I have the best seat in the house in the Northwest to watch You this really do. I'm glad today. you're just giving me a glimpse of your eclipse work right now. So, Leah, thanks so much. We're going to keep checking back <laughs> in with you. Who knows who she'll have on with her next time? I mean, we already had the Earth, the Moon. We'll see what's happening next. We've got all you need to know on this eclipse happening this morning. To get a link to our information, just text the word eclipse to 206-448-4545. You want to keep it right here on King 5. You can watch the eclipse live on king5.com, King 5 Plus, and the King 5 YouTube page all ahead at 9 a.m.